According to the CDC, 44 Americans die every day from overdoses involving prescription opioids. One would think over the last decade, future doctors in medical school would learn about the dangers of substance use disorders and the opioid epidemic, but you'd be wrong. In fact, they did not start teaching that in Ohio until the fall of 2020. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains what took so long and what's being done now to save lives. Overdose deaths in Ohio started coming down after 2017, and then the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Disruptions in treatment, social isolation, and economic stress impacted many battling substance use disorders. 2020 became the highest year for Ohio overdose deaths. Of 5,000 deaths, 81% involved fentanyl. The opioid epidemic surged. Since 1999, 760,000 Americans died from drug overdose. Two out of three involved an opioid, and the majority started with prescription medication given by a doctor, all because of a shift in thinking 25 years ago. Um, where physicians in residency programs and medical school um, and clinicians, regular practicing clinicians, were being regularly encouraged to give a day in and day out narcotic pain medicines for chronic pain. That resulted in, a, in at least a 400% increase in opiate prescribing in America. Back then, the U.S. prescribed nearly 500% more narcotics than any other industrialized nation. In Ohio, 2012 hit the peak of prescribing. By then, the opioid epidemic already catastrophic. Ohio became ground zero leading the nation in overdose deaths. When doctors cut back prescriptions by 40%, street drugs took over and deaths continued to rise. Despite all this, medical school students weren't learning about the opioid epidemic and substance use disorders. Medical schools tend to leave a lot of the education about prescribing to the residency programs. It wasn't until 2016 that the American Academy of Medical Colleges started encouraging schools to add classes. That same year, Ohio awarded a state grant to Neomed to develop curriculum. Dr. Stacy Gardner Buckshaw wrote the grant and helped the team create 70 hours of classwork. There's not time for 70 hours of content in the medical student curriculum. And so understanding that students have a residency, they will also be lifetime learners as physicians. Each Ohio medical school can choose its own plan. The curriculum in its entirety is not start to finish. It's done in a series of modules that the, each medical school could pick and choose to use as part of another course. Dr. Perrin says Case Medical School has been teaching SUD since the 90s, but agrees learning early is critical for future doctors. The first couple of years of med school about substance use disorder in general, and the last couple of years of med school about the basic principles of safe prescribing of addictive drugs. So the goal is to have the right balance of content to ensure that students have what they need to be good doctors. This new shift in thinking may help future doctors save even more lives. Monica Robbins, 3 News. WKYC partnered with the Ohio Opioid Education Alliance to educate and help beat the stigma surrounding mental health and addiction. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, addiction, or you want to know more about the stigmas surrounding them, please visit BeatTheStigma.org for more information.